What's up guys? Today we are doing a video of 10 hours of the Corrupt Gauntlet over in Prifdinus. So this should be a pretty quick video. There isn't too much that happens during the gauntlet and the loot is pretty rare. But yeah, let's get into the video. 10 hours of the hard version of the gauntlet. So the first unique of the 10 hours coming in at 7 hours 38 minutes left. So it, it's a crystal armor steed. You can turn this into crystal armor. Uh, it's worth about 2.5 mil right now, I think, and that came in on 184 corrupt gauntlet chests. Sweet, so they're on 205, another armor seed, armor seed number two during this uh, 10 hours. And there we have the first elite of the 10 hours, just coming in at just about the very end, only 30 minutes left. So 20 seconds left on the 10 hour timer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and end it here. Uh, last uh, kill count was 217, 217 corrupt. Let's go look at my stats. Actually, let, I guess let's check the loot first and then we'll check my stats. So what do we get for the final chest? Some plate legs, howley, and diamond. So here are my stats. 217 completions, 99 deaths. Oh, that is kind of painful how many times I died in that. I was doing so good in the beginning, my first like three, four hours, pretty much no deaths. I think I might've had one in that time, but then after that, it kind of went downhill. So I started with 88 deaths, which means I had 11 deaths over the 10 hours. So just a little over one death per hour. I started with 172 completions. So that means I was able to get 28, 38, 45 completions in that time. So 4.5 completions per hour. If I didn't die at all, it would have been 56 completions. So I had a 20% fail rate. It's very easy to die on the corrupt uh, boss. So, so one death every five completions. I guess we should go ahead and price check the loot. I think that's what most people are interested in. 10 hours of the corrupt gauntlet with a 80% completion rate. So 45 completes, this is what it's worth. 12 mil, that's not including the shards, and these armor seeds are actually worth more than that. Let's take the armor seeds out. So this is just the common loot, no uniques. Uh, 8.3 mil in 10 hours. The armor seeds are currently worth 2.5 mil each, so that is another five mil, five mil. Crystal shards are currently worth 21K each, so let's go ahead and figure out but that's worth 329 times 21. That is 6.9 mil. And the supplies used, of course, is nothing. You bring nothing into the gauntlet. So that is all pure profit. So 8.3 plus 5 plus 6.9. So that is 20.2 mil total profit if I were to turn these crystal shards into divine super combat potions. So that is what it's worth if you have 90 seven herblore or you can boost to 97 and you turn your shards into divine super combat potions if you can't turn them into divine super combat potions i'd probably save the shards until you can and get that herblore up it's definitely worth it but if you're not going to do that then turning your shards into other divine potions will yield a bit less money but it shouldn't be a lot less so just a little over two mil an hour and that is without a blade of seldor the drop rates haven't been released yet but from what i've seen uh, the drop rate for the Blade of, Blade of Seldor is probably 1 in 200 to 1 in 256, somewhere in that range. 1 in 256 seems more likely. That's kind of more of a number that Jagex would typically pick for a drop. So if we just go with that, currently the Blade is worth 110 mil, which means it, would add, it basically adds 430k to every kill, assuming that you got one in 256 kills which is basically like adding another 20 mil to the price check. So it's like four mil an hour if you get uh, Blade of Seldor's on average every one in two, five, six. But that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.